Good evening, 125 Live members. Trainer Brent here with some more trainer tips for you tonight. So, we're going to talk about shoulders today. I have three distinctive shoulder movements that I'm going to walk you all through. Uh, first things first, we're going to start off talking about form because as many of you know, if you've ever taken my classes or if you've ever trained with me, form is one of those things that I am very, 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 very adamant about getting right because form is important. You want to have good form. When you have good form, you have a happy and healthy body that gets stronger and functions better. So before we even pick up dumbbells, before we even talk about exercises, I'm going to have to kind of talk you through this first part because you can't see my feet. I have my camera specifically placed so that you can see my upper torso and my body because we're going to be doing all things shoulder related. What I want you to think about with the feet, now I'm going to turn to the side here and I'm going to step away from you a little bit. What I want you to look at is I want you to look at my low back because one of the biggest mistakes I see people make when they try to work their shoulders is say we have our dumbbells and we're going to do a shoulder press, right? So instead of just shoulder pressing up and down, they pr people press up and I see this happen. So notice what's happening with my upper torso. It's going back. My low back is being pushed forward. My feet are still on the floor like they should be, but I now look like this and I look like I'm trying to lean back and do this number. And that is all kinds of awful for your back. So what I'm about to tell you to do is I want you to take your left foot or your right foot, either one, I want you to step a foot forward and I want you to step a foot back. So you're going to take what's called a staggered stance. And you want there to be a little space in between your feet and you want your feet to be uh, uneven. So one foot forward, one foot back, kind of like this. Now, part number two, think about the core. Anytime you're working any kind of shoulder movement, whether you're pushing weights above your head or whether you're rocking a shrug, we'll get to that in a bit, but I want you to think of the core. Tighten those belly muscles. Bam, right here. So we're not doing this. We're doing this. So keep that core nice and tight. Squeeze those belly muscles. So we're going to walk through these movements first without any kind of weights. We're going to talk about form. Then I'm going to grab the weights and demonstrate each individual move. First move, hands down to the side. You're going to shrug. Shrug your shoulders up to your ears or as high as you can get them. Key with this is, I don't want you to round the shoulders forward, right? That's not what we're doing. I want you to literally pick your shoulders up and let them go. Now, as simple as this sounds, it can be really tricky because the thing with people is, is that we tend to get into a lot of very bad movement habits. And so when we pick our shoulders up, the almost gut reaction is to round them forward. I don't want you to do that. So what I want you to do first is squeeze the shoulder blades back together and then pick them up. So think shoulder blades first, keep those shoulders pinched back, and that's going to help you get more out of a shoulder shrug movement, just like this. Shrug it up and down, the rest of your body is just right where it is. Beautiful. Team, second movement, shoulder press. There are two ways you can come about doing this. I like to teach people this way first, with your arms in. So I'm turning to the side. Note how my elbows are in. And press up and down. With this movement especially, please watch those core muscles. Watch those low backs. None of that rounding. You're not looking up towards the ceiling. You are looking straight ahead as you press up and down. Now I said two options with this movement. This is number one. Number two is you can bring the arms out to 90 degree angles wide like this, press up and back down to the beginning. The end of the movement, the beginning of the movement. End of the movement, beginning of the movement. Either way works. Either option is good. Ultimately, it depends on what your body and truly what your shoulder joints are comfortable with. Final movement, third movement, hands once again down next to the side, and yes, I am going to throw a lateral raise at you. Now think about that wording, lateral raise. Lateral, out to the side, raise, up to the shoulders, and no higher. One of the biggest things I see with this movement is people come up above their shoulders and they do this number. It's wasted movement, wasted energy. Don't bother coming up above your shoulders. This is all the higher you need to come with those movements. It's going to keep your joints and muscles happier and healthier, and this is plenty challenging as it is. Trust me. 
Key with this movement, you're gonna keep a little, little bend in the elbow. So not like this, little bend in the elbow, and you're gonna swim down and out to the side. So my arm is still straight, but it's not locked out. So it's not totally straight, little bend in the elbow, but it's still nice and long. Now, if you grab even your lightest pair of dumbbells and you say, Brent, my shoulders are screaming at me even doing just this, don't worry, I got you covered. Bend those elbows at a 90 degree angle and open up like this. This is a great way to ease your body into getting used to this movement without absolutely destroying your shoulders. Because remember, I said this before, I will say it again, I will say it a million times more, form first, then weight. So if you have a weight that your body can't handle and you're doing this number and going all over the place, stop. Bump to a lighter weight, do it correctly first. The weight increases will come in time, just be patient. Good, so either like Mwah, or like mwah. Now, with dumbbells, it looks exactly the same. You've got that grip on those dumbbells. Your palms are facing in. We start with the shoulder shrug. You shrug your shoulders up and back down, up and back down. Simple as. Remember, watch those shoulders. Don't let them round forward. And if you're looking for a way to make this movement a little bit more challenging, try throwing a hold in there, squeezing those shoulders up, and just hold for a count of five, four, three, two, and one. Outstanding. Shoulder press, dumbbells up, pressing up and down. Remember, we keep that core nice and flat. You tighten those belly muscles. You do not let that upper back go back. Keep it nice and straight whether you're pushing up like so, or arms out, up like so. Either way. Now note that with the wider, uh, the arms kind of splayed out like this, let the dumbbells come up to the top, tippy top, let them kind of kiss, and then come back down. With your arms forward, the dumbbells don't really kiss, they just operate more in parallel with each other, right next to each other. Outstanding. Final movement, that is our lateral raise. There's dumbbells down to the side. You bring those arms up to the shoulder height and then back down, no higher or bent at a 90 degree angle. Looks like so. Same concept with the 90 degree bend. You are coming up to those shoulders, no higher, no lower, right up to the shoulder level and back down like so. Outstanding. Leaving you off on the closing, please remember, if you are rocking your home workouts regularly, please leave, oh gosh, my camera's a little higher. Please leave 24 hours of time in between working muscles of the same group. I realize that you may be at home and I realize that some of you may not be using as heavy a weights as you may be used to, but err on the side of safety anyway. That is always my MO, be safe, stretch yourself out. We'll have some stretching videos coming out for you for the shoulders, the legs, the torso, everything. So keep an eyeball out for those, but in the meanwhile, Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. We're here for you. Questions, send them our way. Thank you, and have a wonderful night.